how to clean your Slayer at the end of day. You'll need a flathead screwdriver. You'll use the push press up really tightly as it's easy to round off and put lots of pressure upwards and then crack it. Then use your hand, be very careful it's hot or you can use a dry tea towel. Use your nice clean cloth to wipe the top plate so it's nice and clean then. You want to put your shower screen and your screw, dispersion screw, into a vessel. I'm using a milk jug, half a scoop of the coffee inverso. Then we want to place some hot water to submerge that completely. Give it a stir once it's completely done. You can do each group individually or you can do them all three at once. I'm just showing you one group. You can do one every 15 minutes, half an hour before, and then the right when you're shut, you've only got one group to close up, depending on how busy your cafe is. Then using your Cafetto in Evo, and this is the coffee chemical cleaner. Use your blind filter, put half a scoop of chemical, and use boiling water. I like to purge a little bit of the hot water tap before I use the hot water so it's nice and hot from the boiler. Make sure you stir it to activate the foam. Let it sit in the group head for about 20 to 30 seconds before starting this clean cycle. Using the toggle, scroll across to the left until you see full cleaning. Click on that, it'll say all or you can do each individual group. We're doing group one. Push it in and it will go run for 100 seconds on off, on off pulsing. So it will back flush a few times. Once it's finished, we want to discard the chemical and excess coffee that's in there. Then we want to push the toggle back in and we start a rinse cycle for 30 seconds. This is to ensure the solenoids stay intact. Then putting your group handle and your basket in, boiling water to the cover and submerge the handle below the, just over the silver bits, not on the actual part of the handle. Then just using the water just to gently top up. As you can see, it's nice and foamy. And when we get a close up in there, we can see that it's not touching the handle. We do not want the chemical to touch the, the leather handle at all. Once that's after 15 minutes, then we wanna discard the screw and the shower screen that we were soaking before. We can clean this, rinsing it under warm water and using a scour just to get rid of any excess coffee and then set aside for reassembly. Dry it off with a nice tea towel or paper towel. As you can see, it's nice and clean, ready for the next day. This will ensure there's no resin or coffee particles in for the next day. Reassembly. We then want to put your screw in and we're going to do it up by hand. Just be careful, it will be hot. Um, it will be cold, obviously running under cold water is a good trick to get it in there. And we just want to do it up by hand. And then using your flathead screwdriver, especially on the slayers, you just need to nip it one mil tight. That's it. If you over tighten it, you will not get the screw off.